thank the captain Jason Chung from Ironbound for speaking with us tonight on the interview. So first off, what we'll start with the positives. What were you guys doing well in the first half to make it a two nothing game? I mean, you guys had it there in the first forty five. I mean, first half, first, I won't say first half, I'll say first 40 minutes, they couldn't touch us. We were, the midfield was unstoppable, knocking the ball around, one, two touch passes, they, especially down the left side of the field, they couldn't touch us, and that was our strongest suit. Last 10 minutes of the first half, we started to go away from that a little bit, it got a little bit chippy, the red card didn't help either, but. Yeah, and then tonight, in terms of last, you guys had about five guys that weren't here that were in the starting lineup last week. What can you say about the guys who debuted tonight and, and just some of the changes that, that were brought apart tonight? I mean, they've always been on the roster for us. It's us. Last week, there was a lot of the guys who were injured, some coming back. Ricardo, our other captain, um, he's been injured with an ankle injury for like a, going on a month now. So it was nice to have him back tonight. He wasn't 100%, obviously, but it was nice to have him back. And that's pretty much it. It was a lot of injuries who finally could come back. Yeah, and then um, there were two red cards in the game. Do you think any of the fouls really had an effect on the game in terms of the outcome? Absolutely. I mean, especially the fouls that led to cards. Uh, you know, the first one in the first half that led to the red card. Is it a foul? Questionable. You know, from my angle, looking at it this way, he gets all ball first. But from his angle, the ref says he's back leg clips him as he gets the ball. Yes, but I think as a referee, you have to know, okay, I already gave him a card. Technically, yeah. Could it be a card if it was the first one? Yes. Should it be a card now? Because he already has one and it was an unintentional tackle where he got all ball first, which the ref admitted? No, in my personal opinion. But yes, to answer your question, it absolutely affected the game because things like that then happened and playing down for... 50 minutes kind of sucks. So. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to get you in trouble now that I'm realizing I just asked you about some calls that were going on tonight. Well, you're lucky you didn't ask anyone else. So. <laughs> um, yeah, so, and then I guess even not only the fouls, but then at, at halftime you guys had made some changes because of the 2-1 game. Um, what was kind of the message from, from Coach um, um, Nobre there at, at the, you know, going into the second half? Essentially manage the game. You know, we had to, like I mentioned before, the last 10 minutes of the first half we got a little sloppy and the message was basically go out there manage the game, continue to win this game. Unfortunately, it didn't work out that way, but that was the message I have, at least. Yeah, and then, so, un unfortunate for you guys for the point, What we won't really talk about that at the moment. What's the mindset for your next game looking to try and, of course, take a, a victory, your second of the season it would be? It would, well, get another victory, yeah, absolutely. That's the main point. But going forward, you know, we got to play smarter on the ball. We got to be smarter talking to the refs and stuff like that. I think that was a big part of today's game. You know, we might have pissed the ref off or something. I have no idea. But in general, we let the refs and the, you know, all the fouls and chippiness get to our heads and we took ourselves out of the game. Like I said, the first 30 minutes of this, 40 minutes, honestly, of the first half, untouchable. You know, goals nonstop. Then after that, fell apart because of the red card, let it get to our heads. And so going forward, we got to cut that out.